Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest and as always, thank you for watching. So a few days back I was uh, browsing through some of my favorite YouTube channels and knew that Sudo Reboot had posted several uh, videos. So I wanted to catch up on his site and lo and behold he had Minjaro 1610.2 with the Mate desktop. So I knew after watching his video I was going to have to give it a try. So instead of putting it on a test machine or uh, creating a separate partition. Uh, I got crazy and just went ahead and wiped my uh, drive. I had been running Antragos KDE for gosh over a month now. Wiped the drive, installed this fresh so I couldn't resist my distro hopping ways. <laughs> anyway, thank you Mr. Reboot. Um, but no, so I wanted to share this with you because my goal was to not really do a full review. I wanted to get into just kind of what it looks like and I also wanted my goal was to make this look as far removed uh, from the typical Manjaro uh, theme which is green and very dark gray and you know they've done a great job with their theming I just kinda of wanted to get away from that and make this look more like Ubuntu Mate well no scratch that because Ubuntu Mate is kind of I don't know their default theme is a little dull too but what I mean by that is I wanted to give this more of a uh, separate look closer to Mate. So I installed Docky, uh, which you see here. That was not pre-installed um, under Manjaro Mate. So let's jump into a few things. Again, this is not my typical review. I wanted to share with you some of the differences. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about Manjaro in case you're not familiar with it. Maybe you're new to Linux and this is the first time you've seen a video on Manjaro, so I'll give you a little background there. Before we do that though, I'm going to jump over here into Look and Feel uh, Mate Tweak. Now you see Mate Tweak in um, Ubuntu Mate and you're able to go into Interface and from there you'll have several selections that you do not see here in uh, uh, Manjaro Mate. You really only have two by default, Fedora and Gnome 2. So my favorite um, uh, panel tweak, if you will, is uh, called Cupertino in Ubuntu Mate. So that was not uh, there by default. So what I did was install Docky, and I also uh, applied a couple of other things. So let's go back into System, Preferences, Look and Feel, Appearance. And then from there, what I did was I installed the Paper GTK theme as well as the breeze icon set. Now I really have come to just really appreciate the breeze icon set. It looks very professional. Um, so and this also gave it a completely different look than the the default Manjaro uh, theme. The other thing that I did was I installed the Microsoft Core fonts. And the reason I did that is because really and truly I think Manjaro's um, font rendering for whatever reason their font rendering is subpar compared to other distributions certainly not as good as Antragos with KDE uh, or Ubuntu for that matter so I, I'm not sure what's going on there but applying the um, MS Core fonts and setting up the proper sub pixel smoothing to slight and RGB um, that seems to to take care of things. Full may look good, it just depends kind of on your monitor and your system, but right now slight is good. So those are basic changes that I made. I also uh, changed the uh, wallpaper and I was a little kind of disappointed to see that this is just the same old selection of wallpapers here. Uh, there's really nothing new here. Now this is a community edition. Uh, this is not um, the default Manjaro uh, edition. And uh, so those of you familiar with Manjaro, you understand what the Community Edition is. If you're new to Manjaro, uh, let me go ahead and give you kind of a rundown um, of Manjaro. Manjaro is an Arch-based distribution with a rolling release model. And again, if you're new, what that means is that it is updated kind of on the fly. So the packages or the software that you have in the OS will be updated frequently as well as the desktop environment so let's uh, with that said let's go over and take a look at that uh, so this is 
Mate desktop environment 1.16.1, which is, um, I'm thinking, if not the latest, real close to the latest. So, again, with um, an Arch based OS like Manjaro, you'll have frequent updates to the desktop environment, to the applications, as well as the Linux kernel. So, that is, uh, you know, a lot of what is, um, I guess you would say, um, positive about Manjaro and Arch-based distributions. Now, having those frequent updates can sometimes cause problems, so I'll just caution you there. But for the most part, my experience has been really, really positive. Now, I want to go into one other area here. Uh, actually, we'll go into System Tools, Add Remove Software. Another big part, and again, this is for people who are maybe new to Manjaro, uh, new to Arch, maybe this is the first time you've really looked into an Arch-based distribution. Uh, one of the things that keeps me coming back to Arch-based uh, OS's is the AUR. Now I have that turned on here and that stands for Arch User Repository. Uh, and to turn that on, if you give this a try, you go into the hamburger menu there and you go to Preferences and you'll have to enter your password. And from there, you're able to go to AUR and toggle that on. You'll also want to turn on search in the AUR by default. And then I always check um, for updates from the AUR. And I always choose do not ask for confirmation when building packages. That's me personal, uh, you know, from a security standpoint. If you have that off, then that gives you an opportunity to look and make sure before you hit Y and building out that package uh, that you want to do that. But for me, um, I don't want to go through that step of hitting Y, enter, Y, enter through the whole process of uh, building out applications. But at any rate, the AUR, um, Arch User Repository, gives you a, I think, probably the largest repository now of, of applications, maybe even larger than, you know, Ubuntu. So, um, that's kind of a round, roundabout um makeup of an Arch-based distribution, which Manjaro is. So for those of you new, for those of you familiar with this, uh, we'll kind of pop through some of the applications. You'll see a lot of what you typically find in Manjaro, um, you know, under accessories. I added Conky Manager and Docky uh, because this is the Mate desktop. You'll see the Mate search tool, screenshot tool. Uh, under games, Steam was pre-installed, so um, nice to see that. Under graphics, I have Mate and Inkscape. Uh, I installed Shotwell and then the Mate color selection. You know, I don't really know why I need this. I've never figured out exactly what I would use this for. Um, so somebody let me know, <laughs> message me or something, and let me know why that's there, why that's important. Uh, under internet, Firefox was installed by default. Uh, Chromium, I installed Office is, of course, LibreOffice. And then under Sound and Video, there's a, a new app here for managing and listening to music. I'm not familiar with this, but it's got a nice clean interface and um, pops up there in the uh, system tray, so I'll have to check that out later. Uh, under that, you also had Pulse Audio Volume Control set up. Uh, I installed Simple Screen Recorder. VLC Media Player is your default media player. Then under System Tools, you see Gparted. Uh, this is a tool that was new to me, ISO USB. So copy an ISO to a USB key. We'll have to check that out. Um, the file manager is Kaja, and that's going to be the latest version, I do believe. And I think, again, the Breeze icons look really nice here. Um, and it's certainly a capable file manager. It's not, uh, it's, you know, it's not as good as Dolphin. Um, it's just not. And that's my opinion, but it's certainly capable. You know, that's 1.16.1, so that's a fairly recent version. And then under System Tools, let's see what else we have here. You've got the Manjaro Welcome screen. That's what you'll be presented with once you log in. Again, 1610. Uh, Fringilla, 64-bit. Um, and they do a nice job with their Welcome screen, for sure. Let's see what else we have. Mate Terminal, Mate System Monitor, Disk Usage Analyzer, all again from the Mate Desktop. 
Uh, here is a uh, modem manager GUI. That was new to me. Uh, let's see what else might be new here. Uh, I had a small update. Uh, it was 78 megabyte or something like that. Not very large at all. Um, nothing else really new there. Uh, manager printing. And um, Manjaro is helpful there for get, getting your printer set up. So that's about it as far as the rundown. And, you know, again, this is your default, kind of your default Mate layout, if you will, uh, that you'll find under Ubuntu Mate. So uh, your places, and that's your folders, or the search tool, or recent documents. And then system is where you're going to find most of your uh, preferences, administration tools, things like that. Control center, we'll take a look at that. This is your typical uh, Mate control center. And so you could launch into here and get to most of what you're going to find here. Uh, so you see hardware, you see network, uh, look and feel, other, and personal. So all of that in a list format is also here in the, um, in the control center. So it's just a matter of uh, where do you want to go to access most of this. You have Manjaro Settings Manager. And that is where you'll go. Um, to check on kernel updates, uh, install language packages, set up additional user accounts and change your time and date and things like that. So if we go into kernel, uh, again, based on um, that rolling release model, you'll see here we've got kernels all the way up to 4.9 release candidate 6. Um, so I'm not, uh, not brave enough to install that one yet. I am currently running 4.7.10 and um, everything seems snappy and fine, no major glitches, um, you know, knock on wood, so far everything's been running very well. Um, and we'll see, um, you know, my gut tells me that I'll probably uh, find myself being drawn back to the KDE desktop environment, but for now I'm going to give this a go and we'll see how, uh, how things progress. And maybe I'll do an update later um, if, you know, I wind up sticking with this for some time. So just wanted to give you a quick look. Um, again, thanks, Mr. Reboot, <laughs> for pl planting the seed. I'm not blaming you. I just had a weak moment and, and had to do a little distro hop there. So wanted to share it with you. Hope you like the theming and things like that. And if you're brand new to Linux, Manjaro is certainly... Maybe you're not brand new to Linux, but maybe you've never tried Arch uh, or an Arch-based uh, distribution. Minjaro is an easy way to experience uh, what Arch has to offer from the AUR to the rolling release model, updated kernel, and things like that. So uh, maybe, you know, again, you're not new, but you're interested in an Arch-based distribution. Minjaro is certainly one of those uh, distributions that I would look at uh, for trying Arch. And then you have the community editions, which we have here, which is, um, that covers Mate, uh, Cinnamon. And at one point they had a community edition of Deep and Desktop. I did not see that on the website today, but uh, so that may be available as well. Well, I hope that helps. Uh, it's been fun kind of getting this set up. And, uh, you know, maybe tomorrow I'm talking about a different OS, but we will see. Thanks a lot for watching. We will check you later.